Welcome back to Super Sentai Review, episode number 231. And this one viewing only one episode of Turbo Ranger, episode 21. Now, if I'm in one episode, I will in fact mention the name of the episode. Dosuke Contest, that's the name of the episode. This episode in particular, well... The whole thing about this one is all about sumo wrestling. Yep. And by the way, the Turbo Rangers teacher returns for this episode. Yep. She returns for this episode. First episode 17 that she's been seen. Oh, yeah. Now, here's the strange thing about this episode. Now, yes, this is the first time that she's been seen since episode... Uh, 17, of course, is 21. And, if you're curious, she actually appears also for the following episode. But overall, she only appears for 1, 2, 3, 4, about 6 more episodes left to go for her. And, that's it. No, seriously. Yeah, and despite the fact that no one people will be afraid when she sees the monster of the episode, she actually is not afraid of the monster. Not really, no. It is one of the most strangest ones. Like, the whole thing about this one is about sumo wrestling. Like, oh, we have it where Zatin and the and Dark General yeah, where basically it's Zimba and Zaltan revive this one monster. By the way, for Zaltan, he had a monster the last episode, and he has one, two, three, four, about five more episodes to go for five monsters to go for him. For Zimba, this by far is his first. Well, it's not exactly one of his monsters per se. It's basically someone else's. He just worked with him. Yeah, so. Instead of like going on a rampage, like one to and say, just wanted to sit wrestle. For a few other clothing, put some willing claws on them. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they do this episode. And like chases like soccer players and shot based basketball players to do sim wrestling. Of course, basically gets along well with the teacher. Also, Yamichi, the wandering bummer, he appears in this episode. He appears for like one scene and he just basically is there just to put black turbo in a loincloth and that's it it's like he was just just a walk-on role for the he was just he were here just this one episode to walk on and he just that's it's almost like he was here just for a cameo does he transform by the rangers to rangers no he doesn't he just doesn't do pretty, pretty much anything also, he has this thing where, oh, I, I don't change in front of people. Yeah. Yeah, let's just have him walk on for this for episode, and that's it. So, they have him fight Sumo with him, and, of course, Black wins. And, of course, teachers basically force him into it. By the way, Dr. Denzi is absent for this episode. And you're thinking, really? He is? Yes. Why is he absent? I have no idea. This is also a fun fact. The oh, this is one of two. This is only the second episode he's missed in the entire series. The last time he missed was episode nine. And if you're curious, though, does he miss any more episodes throughout the rest of the series? Uh, no. That was the only episode he was absent for. My my guess is the actor probably was not available for the episode. That's my guess. But overall, he only misses two episodes. Yeah. You thinking?
That's not bad. Only two. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's not there for the pilot episode, obviously. But he's there for pretty much almost... Actually, no, he is actually is the third episode because he was also not there for episode 12. So, yeah, only three episodes he missed. So, you three... Uh, four, he's also not there for 32. So, yeah, he's missing uh, basically about four episodes. Yep. And, of course, they beat the monster. Of course, they take out the, the cloth, which apparently was given by the Star Beast. Well, the, the, the Fairy Guardian. By the way, Celine does not appear in this episode. Yes, she's also an episode. Their character is absent. It's almost like he takes out the role of Doc Denzi, basically encouraging. Yeah, so... It is by far a very weird episode. Now, the weird thing is, the Wicked page does not list Samo the Samoan one as basically one of the ball monsters. Yeah, then for some reason, they don't list him there for some reason. I don't know why. It's weird. Like on the main page, it is, but not this one. Nope, not really. Yeah, but not much of was I would say this episode. And by the way, they also one other thing they they actually don't use the sword this episode. First episode they actually don't use the sword probably since episode two when they since since, since the turbo Robo showed up and they feed with a Sue match, and that's it. Yeah, and by the way, their their leader he probably just wrote out the monster as a waste of time because he didn't do anything. I mean, he doesn't he's he was mad at his, his minions for basically. Not having to do what he's supposed to do, but technically they did succeed at what they were told to do, which was take away the the uh, the, the apron he was wearing, take that away from him, and he goes on rampage. And of course they kill him, they grow him giant size, and then they have the sumatch, and that's it. Very odd episode, yes it is, but not much else to say this episode. So that's it. I thought we have a little bit of time, a little bit more episodes, but. That's not proved the case today. So tomorrow, more Super Sunday, and maybe a comic corner. Maybe. Okay, next video. Bye.